Hi guys, today I have something really exciting for you. I have another nail polish collection review from Sally Hansen. This time this is the uh, Miracle Gel line that they put out. Well, this line is not new anymore, but I believe those shades are new released shades. So you can see those are all the shades that I have received. There are six shades plus one matte top coat. I think they're really trying hard to promote this matte top coat. So in my swatch photos, you're gonna see all of those six shades in their shiny finishes and in their matte top coated finishes. Most of them here are really, you know, just pink and neutral. I did go to CVS and Walgreens to check out what other colors they have. They have a lot of other interesting shades, but just for the shades that they sent me are on the neutral and pink, more like salon type of color story. So I'm gonna show you all the polishes here, uh, just going in the order that they're in the box, I guess. The first one is in the color out of this pearl. So this is a metallic finish polish and it's kind of like a rose gold, but leaning a little bit more champagne. It's not so strong of a, like it has less pink in it compared to a rose gold. I'm usually not a metallic person. It's just not something I would normally wear, but I know a color like this could be a crowd pleaser. A lot of people must love shades like this. It's really easy to work with. It's basically a one coater. You could use two coats, of course. It dried a little bit brush strokey though, so you have to be a little careful when you apply it. But again, that's not anything unusual for a metallic polish. I did try the matte top coat over this. The effect is least apparent on this polish. I just don't think metallic polishes really go well with matte top coats. Like they don't, they just don't work all that well together. But regardless, I think this polish itself is really pretty. Also, I assume that you guys are pretty familiar with this line. They have I think there's another line that's also in a bottle shape like this. They have the same brushes. It's a wider brush, slightly curved at the end. It's really easy to use even for my nails because my nails are really narrow. So usually a lot of white brush will cause me problems, but this one doesn't. It's the right amount of width plus a little curve. So it's really easy to use. The next color I have is called Can't Beat Loyalty. So a couple of polishes in here are named after beats, which I think it's really cute. I love beats. I don't know about you, but I just love that like farmer type of style that they named those polishes after and the color beat is just spot on for a color like this. And this is kind of like a jelly polish. It's a little bit, I wouldn't say it's on the sheer side. It's just a jelly. Jelly, you usually should just expect to use two to three coats, no exception here. The color itself is gorgeous. It will be perfect for the fall. And I think what surprised me the most is the matte finish. Oh my gosh, this one with the matte top coat is just gorgeous. I loved it so much. It's so much more chic looking and it's very velvety. It's almost a little satin-like. It's just perfection. I loved the matte top coat with this guy a lot. Next I have Marvelous. So this one is your typical nudie pink color. Nothing too special here. Really good formula. It's a cream formula. I just used two coats. You can't really complain about anything. It's very easy to use. If it fits your skin tone, it's perfect. And again, I think the matte top coat just completely transformed this, made it so much more softer and chic. I love it. I am really impressed by this matte top coat effect because those are some shades I wouldn't normally think to pair with a matte top coat and they really just turn out to be something special. Next color is called Apollo You Anywhere. So this one is probably the only one that I feel really fits into a spring collection or maybe, maybe plus the new that we just talked about here. But this is a kind of strawberry hot pink color, leaning very strongly to red. And it has a golden, I wouldn't even call it a shimmer. It's more like a reflection or a sheen. On the nails, you don't really see that gold at all. It's just a strawberry pink color. I think the matte top coat does look pretty. It's very different from its shiny stage, of course. But honestly, I prefer this one when it's shiny. It's just... The matte finish isn't really, I don't know, it's a little too wild, I feel, like a little 
too out there not quite neon but like it definitely made it even more wild and i just maybe in the summer i would feel different about it for now i prefer something a little softer and i definitely prefer this polish when it's shiny next i have a deeper nude color so compared to marvelous you can tell this one is a lot deeper and it has more purple in it, I feel. And this is in the color Beat Pray Love. So it could definitely be a good nude polish for some deeper skin tones out there. Or even for me, I just prefer deeper nudes a lot of the times. I feel it's more my personality, especially if you're in the fall to winter kind of season. If you wear a nude, I usually go for shades like this anyways. So I really love this shade. It's a cream formula, very easy to apply. The formula of those two are basically exactly the same. Um, and again, I love it matte. It's just something I never expected. And it just looked so good, so chic, so put together and so different too. Like, Oh my gosh, I just loved it so much. The very last one I have here is in the color Wine Stock. This one is a jelly again. So this one has the same formula to uh, Can't Beat Loyalty. So those two, the deeper colors, they're both jellies. You need to two, three coats to get it opaque. And this one is really squishy. It really just looks like blood on your nails. Maybe you would think that's gross, but I thought that was gorgeous. And it's really squishy too, so it has a reflection. It almost feels like on the edges of your nails, it's a little lighter. So it's just a really different look and I really enjoyed it. And it definitely did not look like a black on your nails. It's like a really, really deep vampy purple red. And I think the matte finish again, it just, it took my heart. This matte top coat really transformed and made it even more grungy, more vampy. If anything, I would really, really recommend you to get this matte top coat. This is, uh, it's just called Miracle Gel Matte Top Coat. It looks like this in a opaque bottle. And I just thought it was so gorgeous. And I'm so grateful that they put this matte top coat in combination with a whole bunch of really nude or just deeper colors because like I said, I would have never thought about pairing a matte top coat with shades like this and I just, it totally won my heart. And I could not really pick a favorite out of this collection because honestly, like I like, I love four out of the six shades that they provided here, the two nudes and the two jellies. So if you guys haven't checked out this line yet, I would highly recommend you to. And especially if you already have similar colors to those, maybe just get the top coat or try those combinations. It completely opened my eyes. It's such a different experience and I just, I loved it. I'm sure I'll be using matte top coat a lot more. I've been using it over some of my other colors as well, and it just really gives a different look, I guess. <laughs> so I'm really happy with this, and I hope you guys go check it out. They are available at CVS, Walgreens, you know, the drugstore as usual. Um, and let me know if you have tried any shades from them, especially if you have paired anything with a matte top coat. Let me know what you liked and didn't. I'm really curious to know how you guys feel about this whole line. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.